everyone. Thanks so much. So I'm Louisa. I'm the Director of Learning Design here at Kahoot. And um, I am so excited to share with you all our new tool called Kahoot Sparks. This is a new way to play Kahoot. Um, it's a complement to the Kahoot that you all know and love. This one is an exercise that is um, open-ended. It's really about creativity and ideation. So we're going to play one um, as a demo in just a minute. But just to let you know what's what it's about. Um, so teachers give their students a, a sort of open-ended creative challenge. There are no right answers. This is all about generating ideas and celebrating each other's ideas. So we also scaffold this um, so that it's it, it's not too overwhelming for students. So we start by asking for some idea sparks, just little quick inspirations. Then we shuffle those up and hand them back out to students who take a set of ideas and remix them. So combine them. This really supports divergent thinking and uh, all kinds of um, student voice, expression, things like that. So they come up with a solution. They can draw, they can write, however they want to express themselves. Um, and then all the ideas are, are presented on the screen and shared um, to the, and then allows students to celebrate and recognize that there's no one best idea. There are many ways that an idea can be a great idea. All right, I have lots more to say about Sparks, but we are going to get started playing one. So this is what um, the Kahoot Sparks page looks like. There are some uh, templates here and we're gonna start. Uh, so you join in a very similar way to joining a Kahoot. Um, you can use this QR code or you can go to sparks.kahoot.it. So that's a little bit different from classic Kahoot uh, and enter this pin. So I'm gonna wait here for some players to join. And uh, it may be that not everybody can join. There is a cap um, right now for, for how many people can join Kahoot Spark. So if you don't get to join, don't worry. Um, just watch the demo and you'll be able to try it later on. Um, Kahoot Sparks is available already in early access on EDU plans. So that's very important to note. All right, we'll give... Uh... Another minute. Okay, I think this is this is good. We're probably at the max, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So this challenge is going to be about uh, coming up with inventing a new hobby, uh, and there are many ways to use Kahoot Sparks, uh, but this this is just one example of an icebreaker, a kind of design thinking creative challenge. So first of all, just share what is one of your hobbies. This is really quick. You can draw a representation of it. You can type. Share one of your hobbies. I love watching them roll in. It's so much fun. Ooh, weather watching, knitting, horseback riding, scrapbooking, looks like some dancing, cycling, piano. I love all the drawings. Ooh, stained glass. Yeah, these are amazing. All right. So if you were running this with your class, uh, you can decide if you want to wait for every student to submit their, their response, or if you think um, it's enough and you want to move on, that is also fine. So here today, we're going we're gonna to move on. So if you didn't get to submit yours, no worries. You can still continue to participate. All right, so we've got a great collection of inspirations, hobbies, hobbies from our group. Next, name one object or kind of equipment that you use in this hobby. We got a few from the last question, but that's fine. Um, okay, so we're gonna see what, what kinds of tools do you use? Oh, a barometer, yes, fascinating. And a sewing machine and Netflix. I love the variety. See, this is where we really get to see in a, in a group of students or a group of participants, just the, the diversity of thought, of interests, of ideas. You might respond with something that, that um, someone else just never thought of. So this really gives you all kinds of new ideas. And there are lots of ways to use Sparks. I'm using it here as kind of a, a creative, a creativity booster warm up, um, but it can also be used as um, a way to activate prior knowledge or um, a project Kickstarter, brainstorm topics or writing prompts, um, as well as assessment. So a way to see what do students know about a topic? How can they apply an idea to a new context? All right, so we've got lots of interesting objects and 
equipment. We're going to move on. Now here comes the the fun part, the creative challenge. So all those ideas that you all submitted, these inspirations are being shuffled up and then each participant will get a, a new pair. So randomly mixed up. So you'll get some hobby and some other um, piece of equipment. So you'll see that on your, on your screen, your controller. Um, and now you wanna take those two inspirations that you got and remix them, combine them in some new way to create, invent a new hobby. So think about maybe an unexpected way that these two things could actually create a new hobby. And let's see what we get. And one fun thing you can see here is if I open up one of them. So I have, okay, this is a hobby to do scrapbooking about digital chess games. And uh, we can see... Something happened to my screen. Let's see. All right, it jumped a little bit. Okay, let me just reload. There's a little bit of technical difficulty. This is definitely the biggest uh, Sparks game that we've ever hosted. So it could be that we've uh, maxed out a little bit our Sparks server. But here we're back. Um, so again, let's see if it'll work this time. Ah, okay, it's a little bit stuck. But um, when you when it's when it's working correctly, you can see what the inspirations were that went into a given idea. So you can not only celebrate the the ideas that are coming from your class, but you can also see how did they come up with this idea. So jump rope, jumping rope with fishing line. That's a great hobby. Who knew? What a challenge. Um, what else do we have here? Football on wheels. That sounds like a creative sport. So you can see that with Kahoot Sparks, um, it really gives a chance to support creativity, divergent thinking, it helps you think outside the box in a scaffolded way um, and come up with ideas that you might not have come up with otherwise. Okay, and the last step of Kahoot Sparks, um, we're gonna see if this works. Like I said, this, uh, this activity is in early access. So uh, with large groups, there could be some things that still need a little bit of polishing and we're working on that. Um, but let's celebrate the ideas. So here you see there's not one right answer. We don't want to vote for the one best idea. We want to see what is unique about different ideas. So maybe this one really inspired me, gave me new ideas. Maybe another one I think was so original. I never thought of that. So here we can see, we can see the stickers that are starting to show up on each of the ideas. And in this way, um, you know, all students can really get some love and and uh, be supported in their ideas. So this is all about uh, making connections across ideas. And these are these stickers are also customizable. So teachers could choose. It could be, okay, this idea is very scientific, or this one was based on something we learned in this unit. Um, so really finding patterns in the ideas and identifying, you know, what what is good about each skill, each idea. So the skill of also evaluating ideas is built right into this activity. So that is um, a very quick demo of Kahoot Sparks. And just a few more notes about Kahoot Sparks. It, it really helps build uh, creativity, especially if you use it regularly, you really build this creative mindset of uh, there's no one right answer. And it was also designed to be inclusive. Um, so it really promotes student voice. There's no one expected pathway to success. There are many ways to be successful in this game and to support each other. Um, you can draw, you can type, you can kind of express yourself in the way you that, that you learn best. Um, so those are some of the things that were really important to us in designing Sparks. And again, uh, it is available on EDU plans. And um, we're really excited for, for some, some of you to test it out and let us know what you think.